Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today is it. I'm going to go get all the parts and pieces for this electrical install for uh, the 1450 adapter. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to put it in there. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get the wiring, I'm going to get the cables, the plugs, all that stuff. And I'm going to show you what we did and I did to get this installed. So guys, stay tuned. We're going to Home Depot. But I'm going to sneak in through the garden center over here uh, because electrical is literally right, right over there. All right, so look at that. We got a cart down here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some 6-3 wire. It comes in, you know, a couple different lengths here, but the unfortunate thing for my issue is that it comes in a 50-foot length, and then it comes in a 125-foot length, and I need 80. And you don't want to make joints in here, so $229 right there for this wire. All right, so we're gonna get our plug here. I'm getting the 50-amp flush mount, so it doesn't necessarily say 1450 on here. So if you're looking at it, you might need to line out like that. I always get a kick out of that. It looks like he's a little sad guy. Anyway, this is the one that we're going to use right here, a flush mount that fits right in there. And now since we're here, we need to get some breakers. All right, so the breakers we're looking for are the slim breakers. Let me see these right here. So see, this is a slim versus a standard size that top one and the bottom one. So we had to take the bottom ones out that are in that large standard size like that and put the small ones in. And as I was mentioned with the bus connectors, you can see that little clip right there, that is how it connects in. Whereas on these here, they connect in like that. So with some of the newer panels, they have the um, slim bus connector that goes in there like that. So we need a 50 amp, that'll work. And then to bring everything else down, we need a 30 amp two pole. There we go. All right, so I need to find the box for this guy right here and a plate and we should be done. That's pretty much all we're really going to need. Ah, uh, we need to get some pipes here. So uh, we need two LBs, which is we're going to use one inch. All right, so we're going to get two of these right here. Got two of the LBs right here. This is to go from the panel down into the bottom on there. And we have some pipe at home, so I don't need that, but we're using one inch conduit. So we have two of those. And also I've got some pipe straps uh, like these that we already have at home right there. So we already have these. And we also have the MAs too. So we have a male adapter here. So that's going to be fine. We have all that. The only thing else we need to get down here is a one inch lock. Nah, there we go. These usually come in packs of twos. Sure enough, we got those. And if you haven't got it already, you're going to get piping which is, let me see, one inch right here. Schedule 80 is fine and 10 feet. So you'll get some great pipe like that. All right, so onto the box. Now, if you need to get a deep box, you can get one of those. I'm just gonna use a standard size one. All right, we've got that. So next thing we need to do is we need to get a, one of these covers, a four inch cover, 30, 50 receptacle. So that should do it right there. If you wanna fit it, you can make sure. Sure enough, that fits right in there and that'll fit right on top of there. So, all right, we're good with that trying to think of anything else that we need here. We've got electrical tape. We've got um, the two breakers. We've got the wire. Uh, I got two LBs here. I got the straps at home, breakers, and I believe that is going to be it. So, all right, we're going to go get checked out. Um, currently, I'm going to head home. I'm going to try and get this thing all installed before uh, it gets dark tonight. It's probably going to take me about an hour and a half to get everything done. Um, total cost inside there was $262. Uh, with everything that I had there and yeah, we're gonna get this installed. You guys ready? I'm excited because now I don't have to deal with uh, six mile an hour charging. Today we're gonna be starting the install of our charger, our 1450 adapter charger. My buddy's just pulling up right now. What we do is we're gonna first remove this panel and so what we're doing here is we're removing this 40 amp. What we're trying to do is find out if this connector here in this bus has a uh, particular type. I don't know the name of it, but we're looking at that right there and because uh, some of the newer breakers and some of the older panels they only have them from about like here down where they have that other bus type like you see right in there all right so we're going to pull some of these breakers off and just double check see if we got that double we don't have those can't do those breakers huh i told you some panels have them just at the oh, bottom man and you got one of those panels damn it so what we're going to do is we have to move a lot of our breakers around just to make sure that we have uh, uh, the ability to use wafers and these two poles that we've got here. Yeah, so this might be something you have to do when you're doing yours. All right, so we got lots of pancakes in here. As you guys can see, these little flat ones that are in here. And we moved up um, one of the arc faults. I think it was up here. Uh, we have one of the arc faults right down there. 
And next thing we gotta do is we just gotta run the wire down through the house. I'll tell you what, this is an undertaking. We're all the way underneath this house right here. I noticed that I gotta do a little bit of work on this place. Get these wires all secured up now that I'm underneath here. But uh, we're getting this wire ran. And if you have a crawl space like I do, it's helpful, but most of the time people don't. Yeah, I'm all right. You're dirty. Oh, Lordy. You're dirty. Um, so we just got done running that wire underneath here. Had to pull it all the way out through here and get this 6-3 six, uh, six, wire ran all across the house there. So as you guys can see, this is not a fun job. Uh, I got tore up. I got dirty. And actually, my daughter, she actually helped me. So she was pulling some of the wire and doing that, right? We're going to get the car charged up. I'm gonna go inside and uh, lay in the bed for a little bit. So we're gonna hook this up in the garage and we've got ourselves a new adapter. It's a lot of work for a little bit of effort. We have pretty much everything ran and ready to go. We're just gonna run that wire up through here in this off right here with that NEMA plug 1450 and do the same thing on the breaker side. All right, as you guys can see, we got everything all nice and tidy up in here, all plugged in, ready to go. And what we're looking at right now is the 1450 adapter, the wall mobile connector, and our conduit with that LB down here that we picked up or showed you today. And we're gonna just go ahead and plug this in. And then we're gonna see what we get for charging speeds. Let's jump in here. Okay, so there we go. We're currently getting 27 miles an hour, and that is basically uh, because the air conditioner is on. So as soon as I shut that off, let me turn that to here. We'll turn this air conditioner off there and jump into that. There you go. You can see it's bumped up to that 32 mile an hour. That's perfect here. Currently getting 240 volt on that 80 foot run, 32 amps out of 32 amps, and, uh, and 33 miles an hour. It's peaking up to that right there. Now, I believe if we had a shorter run on our... Uh, from our box here we might get just a little bit more i'm not 100 percent positive but again still works pretty great and one of the main reasons why i didn't go for the wall connector is because these basically get the same amount of speeds here for you know the difference in price there of 400 or 500 dollars and that's about it so super excited this is great i have one hour and five minutes uh in order to get to what is this here um, to add another 40, like 43 miles or so, 45 miles. Currently have 10,000 free miles of supercharging from referrals. And I want to thank you guys for, uh, whoever watched these videos and grabs those. There's a few of you out there. So thank you very much for doing that. Now I just don't know that I'll be able to use them fully. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still great to have that because I am going on some road trips. I'm going on some, uh, travel trips with some friends, but now I won't have to stop at the supercharger as much. I think from when I get home, say even if I got home at eight o'clock at night from a long day at work and I had to be back to work at seven that next morning, when my car is even all the way fully down to depleted at 32 miles an hour, it will take less than nine hours to get this thing uh, back and fully charged up. And previously, if it was down to the, you know, the minimums down there down to zeros, it would take somewhere like 30 hours to get charged back up at six miles per hour. So that's the difference between this is 32 miles per hour versus six. So it's about five to six times faster. Um, and that really helps out in the long run when you are trying to just do your daily commutes. Now, the total cost of this, that's what a lot of people have asked me when I posted in one of my uh, groups there, is that the total cost of this for me to install it myself was right around $290. And that wasn't too bad. So I think it was really um, cost effective when it comes down to putting it in. Now, the, the majority of my cost is because I had an 80-foot run. If I didn't have an 80-foot run, I could have bought probably, I don't know, it probably would have been like $6 worth of wire, um, like a dollar a foot and get six foot of it coming right out of the panel like most people have. But we don't have an electrical panel in our garage. That's the, that's the hard part. 
with this being a house that was built literally in the 50s and I remodeled it, um, I had unfortunately had, didn't have the ability to redo the entire uh, electrical panel and bring it back into the garage or wherever it would be. So we have an external electrical panel. Now, the good thing about that is, is I have the ability to get under the house. Like I was saying, it's not a fun job, but it is uh, an easier job. That way I don't have to run through concrete and dig it around. If we had a house that was poured on slab, it would be a lot different. So thankfully, if you do have your uh, electrical panel in your garage, you can get that done pretty easy and pretty simple. I recommend if you have the ability and you want to just save some money and get this, 32 miles an hour is pretty quick. And some people are getting a little bit more depending on how short or long the run is. And with that, I, I don't think that you need to spend the four to $500 to get the mobile connector, uh, in my opinion, unless you want the cooler look. That's, I mean, it's not that much bigger. It's a little bit bigger, but it's a little bit more sleeker and kind of cooler looking. I don't need that. The only thing I would do is if I could, I'd get a supercharger like, you know, housing and put it in here. That would be kind of cool. So I want to thank you guys for watching, like, and subscribing. I'll put a link to all the parts in the, in the description. You can get them at your Home Depot dealer. You can get them from there. If you cannot find the wire, DM me or message me. I do have plenty of uh, wire here I can cut up and send to you just uh, through postage and just the raw cost of it there. So if you want some of that, let me know. I'll send that out. So thanks again for watching, liking, subscribing, and I will see you guys shortly.